gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get started here because we know everyone's short on time. The winner of the Longines Breeders' Cup Turf is found, and we're uh, very glad to be joined now by Michael Tabor and Andy Magnier and Aiden O'Brien. Andy Magnier. Magnier. Envy. 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 Uh, although Envy. Andy's Envy. got a nice ring so to I misheard it. it yesterday. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. Now I understand why everybody was giggling. All right. <laughs> well, very good. Well, congratulations on this incredible win. Aiden, uh, we'd like to start with you. Uh, found, finally uh, turns the tables on Golden Horn. Tell us what you think made the difference today. Yeah, yeah so it's incredible. I, firstly, for like I take my hat off to the lads for running her. Um, she's a... B we, we, we trained her, kept her a mile early in the year with the view to giving her a, a break in the middle and then trained her for the arc. Um, listen, everything went well for the arc, but the arc just was a, it, she just didn't have much luck in the arc and went to the line on the bridle. Uh, so then obviously we came back to the champion stakes, she was drawn badly, just ended up back a little bit, but came out of the race real well. And um, listen, I, like I say, I can't. Listen, the lads made the decision to run her, really, I thought, like it was a little bit. A little bit far fetched, to, <laughs> like she was a, a three-year-old filly after running in two champion stakes and an arc within yeah. within a month, you know. But she she didn't have any luck in any of the races. Um, she's, you know, she's a very special filly. A Ryan gave her a super ride, and <coughs> what can you say? You know, I, I couldn't believe it happened. But listen, I'm so delighted to be part of it. Yes, Michael, as Aiden said, three races in October, four races in in the past month and a half. Uh, how impressed you are by this filly? Well, you have to be very impressed. I mean, I think Aiden's really covered every blade of grass there. Um, she's uh, look. Aiden at the beginning of the year always said, "This is our arc filly," and he was very positive about her. But she didn't get the rub of the green. But finally, she's come good, as Aiden always says she would. And you know, when Aiden says that to you, it comes right. It might not happen just when he expects it to, but eventually it will happen because he knows the difference. And MB, can you talk a little bit more about Ryan's incredible ride? No, in, in fairness to Ryan, I remember after the race and when she won in France as a two-year-old, he got off her and said that she would win an arc. And he said that um, she's exceptional and sure, what can I say? Ryan gave her a fantastic ride. Aiden has done an unbelievable job keeping her going. And Galileo, just, I don't really what you say about him. <laughs> I think the superlatives are just, <clears throat> I know, you, you all know how good he is, Galileo. And when you, when you have a, a filly by, by him, you know they just produce it. They really do. Very good. Well, we know you got to get to the paddock, so we're going to let you go. Thanks for the time, and thanks for bringing this filly here. Thank you. Thank you.